When you'd like to subscribe to a report, it's very simple by going to the reports area, finding the particular report that you'd like to subscribe to, clicking the drop down arrow and choosing subscribe. You can set up the particular frequency for this and the recipients that you want. Note, however, that you can only add single users at a time. There are a couple of configurations that you need to make sure are in place if you want to send this to a group of users. So for instance, I have a management public group here. Right now, there's only a couple of users in here, but in your instance, there may be several. Now, you'll notice that I don't have the option back here on the report to add groups. So there are a couple of configurations you need to make sure are in place. One is that the folder that that report or dashboard resides in is shared with that public group. So for instance, the report I'm interested in subscribing to is in this real estate folder. So I'll click on folders, find my real estate folder, click the drop down arrow and choose share. Now I have the ability to add the public group and I will add that management group here. I'll just give them viewability, hit the share button. And now that report is shared with them. However, in this particular case, if you still do not see when you go to the subscribe area, and edit recipients, if you still do not see the public groups option, there's one other configuration you have to make to the profile. This particular user has the profile of a Syndic system administrator. So I'll click on that. And what you're gonna be looking for is the subscribe to reports area. So I'm just going to quickly search for that uh, in my browser. And you need to make sure that this option here of subscribe to reports, send to groups and roles is checked. So I'm going to edit this. Go back to that area, check it, and then make sure I go up and save this. And I'm just going to go ahead and close these here and make sure that I refresh to make sure that I have the latest profile privileges. I'm going to find my lease expirations by year report, select the drop down arrow, choose subscribe. And now when I go to edit recipients, I have the option for public groups. And again, the only public group I have available is the one I made sure was shared with. And so that's the management group. And again, you can set up the frequency as you would if it were just a normal user, and that will subscribe the report to everyone that is in that public group.